What's going on everybody? Uh, Jared Leon here and I know it's been a while since I've made my last my last YouTube video but um, just been switching some things up um, before I was trading mostly Nasdaqs and um, I just too many fake outs I just kept getting faked out all the time and couldn't I couldn't be consistent so I decided to go back to where I originally started when I first started trading a few years ago and that's the OTCs and I feel like they're just a little bit more clean um, they give really clean moves they're not as choppy and I can just kind of read the charts better on them and plus I work full-time and I work construction so technically I'm not allowed to be on my phone and all my, all my coworkers give me shit for being on my phone trying to trade and so it's easier for me to just watch the market less and kind of just wait for power hour to see if I can take a power hour move or swing something overnight. And uh, and plus, because I take my lunch, you know, at 12, 1230. So that time is just kind of just works for me. Um, so that's kind of what I've been doing recently. And uh, I just want to go over a couple a trade from today that was just an absolutely terrible trade uh, broke my rules I'm just a midday trade and uh, third green day and I'll go over that right now let's see it's TLSS all right so intraday you can see it looks pretty good as it's holding you had the nice morning rip held VWAP really nice was making higher lows um, I bought it here and this is just, it was pure emotion, pure emotion. I bought it here at 25 two when it was holding, kind of holding that high of day right here. I tried to fill at 24 four on this quick dip, but no fill. Um, that's when I got even more emotional, bought at 25 two and it just dropped right away within minutes. And I start, and instead of having like a tighter risk, I wanted to risk like 24 ish. And um, I ended up having my risk at 23.5 right here. Just wanted to give it a little wiggle room in case it did dip. But um, it was just too, it was too much of a risk for me. And uh, that's why my loss was so big. My loss was about 200 bucks, which may not be very big to some people. And it, maybe huge to some others for me it's a pretty big loss and um, just unacceptable and instead of just going you know half size or just starter I, I mean I went I went all in right here and um, just ate this wash out here and that's just a midday bull trap right here breaking high of day but I should have noticed how weak of a high of day break it was and um, it just got stuffed. So just kind of a learning lesson, you know, and you just need to be disciplined and you need to just let these kind of play out until a power hour, you know, for any potential play. I can't be looking at the market during midday and, and taking these stupid trades like this. And then of course, um, OPTI proved it held itself. And this little bubble here was my mental trade at, at three cents. And, we ended up getting a nice high of day break and I ended up with my, uh, you know, it's again, mental trade, but I'd sold at 35 for 16%. And for me, that would have been, so I had, I put 2,500 in, um, in a TLSS and that's why I lost 200 bucks. It was a, and then if I would have just been patient and waited for power hour, I could have bought OPTI here at 30, I mean at three and sold at three, five. For, I mean, I think about 500 bucks, it would have been 16% of $2,500. Um, so just, you know, just a little dirt in the wound there, you know, at the end of the day. And I had to just watch it rip up and make a move without me. But uh, I, on the bright side, you know, I'm not going to dwell on the past and, and let it get to me. You know, I just got to go over these and learn from my mistakes and, at least I recognize this and was able to take it mentally and you know hopefully I get another one of these this week and I can make my gains I can make up for my losses 
but I just wanted to go over these couple, just this trade and these couple plays from today and just kind of giving people my thought process on them um, for OPTI. You know, just solid first green day. I was trading decent dollar volume and um, recent runner. And um, this, this, this backside here proved that it can't really have a second green day. So I was a little weary. I was, you know, I was, I was, uh, I noticed that. And uh, so I wasn't looking to hold this overnight. I was really just looking for that pop into power hour past high of day. And that's what I would have sold into. And uh, just a really nice play here. And then TLSS, another reason why it was bad. I mean, fourth green day. I don't really, I mean, I don't really count this. So I just want to say third, but uh, just overextended here at this point. And I just, I thought it could have more of just a squeeze and a kind of a push pass, but it's just too much, too much overhead resistance and it just got stuffed really bad. That's why you don't trade, you know, it may look really good, but that third green day just brings your odds down so much. And um, that first green day is just so much better. So your odds are just so much better. Just having that nice first green day after like six red days, you know, and just it just slowly faded. And then we get some volume and we get that nice pop. And it's known to have some decent range in the green days. So um, you know, it's another it's another good sign. So yeah, that's just kind of my thought process and what I've been dealing with today. And um, it's just good to go, like I said, just go over it and learn from your mistakes and just keep keep moving on you know what i'm saying but um yeah i hope you know this helps me and hopefully if they help if they even help just one person who watched this then it's a win-win situation for this video so you know like and subscribe if you enjoy this and want to see more uh, leave a comment if you have any questions and thank you for watching